everybody, this is Chisba Dad Cheetah and welcome back to South Park, The Stick of Truth. Last time we got through a majority of the uh, tutorial stuff. We still have like, I think, one more tutorial left to go. But other than that, we were introduced to the Kingdom of Koopa Keep and once again I am not touching that with a 10 foot barge pole. So let's go out into the world. We have now have unlocked butters. As a f you kids be careful now. As a uh, buddy. Now, oops, not what I wanted. Party. Okay, so we have butters here. Butters is a paladin, a noble warrior of pure heart and mind. His holy power can smite the wicked and heal the wounded. When his skills as a paladin aren't enough, he also has the power of his alter ego, Professor Chaos. Outside of combat, butters can be commanded to heal injured allies. Now that is in important to know. His passive is born victim. Butters is just so innocent, he naturally makes people want to punch him. Enemies are twice as likely to attack him in combat. His special ability is Healing Touch. He can use that once a turn. And it's basically, if you know, if anybody knows d d it's like a paladin's lay on hands. It heals. And you can, like I said, you can only use it one, one, once a turn. We have Hammer of Justice. This is a great, uh, this is a great move. This one smites all enemies in a column with a massive shock, and this is his... We could call it his ultimate, if you will. Like, ultimates aren't until the next game, but this is pretty much his ultimate. He transforms into the evil genius Professor Chaos and unleashes a random devastating attack. Now, if I will go over here... Three new friends. But you notice... That... We did have... Uh... We did have um, Clyde as a friend, but because of what happened, he immediately unfriended us. We now have the bow of sucking. We have a bunch of healing potions. There we go. And I say we are good to go. Now what we are going to do... This is the king's room. I don't think we're supposed to be in here. What exactly are you looking for? I'm looting. Oh, oh gotta go in Cartman's bum's room. This is a bad idea, generally. Yeah. Last week, Cartman's mom was here with a few men having a whole lot of magic. She was doing hand magic and butt magic. Butters? Didn't want to know that, thank you. Alright. <laughs> okay. So. This is the map. We have. Token over there. The easiest one to get to at the moment is Craig. And Tweak is over here. So we'll go to Craig's house first. The Wizard King says I'm too ginger to be one of the humans, but Paladin Butters lets me be his squire on the sly. Paladins seek justice for all races. That is adorable. And like I said, Paladins are not, gingers are not allowed to play because Cartman is once again a douchebag. Butters, the merciful. Butters really is a very sweet boy. I hope you'll treat him as you oh, very Oh, this must be child. the new kid. We're playing, Dad. Good for you. Please treat him as you would a normal child. Way to go, Mrs. Right Scotch. Sorry, Stotch. Right. Now, we have perks. Perks give us a different uh, abilities and stuff. And 
this perks evolve around getting as many people to be your friends as possible. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to increase my maximum PP by 20%. Because that's... Right, hold on. There we go. Now we have 16 instead of 14. All right. Welcome to my room. Those are my minions. They help me punish society. There you go. Fuck you, new kid. Things were fine until you showed up. I'll get you back for this, I swear. That's not our fault. It's not our fault Cartman is a douchebag. Uh, collectibles. We have friends. Chim Pokemon. Equipment. And quest items. Let's tweak. Token and Craig. We have Cartman's garage key and Chaos's lair key. We also have one out of five sets of underpants that will become clear later on, and I'm going to be immature by typing boobs on a calculator. Oh, that baby picture of butters is so cute. Now we can get into the butters' garage. Garage, garage, whatever, I don't care. Right, so let's Oh, Druid gloves, nice. Have to be level four to equip them, but Oh yeah. Another gym Pokemon. And now we can finally defeat the Suman. Now this is Timmy's fast travel. Dinner! Now, here's the thing, we only have one other place, one other flag. Basically, once you achieve these, once you get these flags, you can fast travel to any other flag. And here's the Hopefully the last tutorial. This is just about fighting with a pal. Yeah, you moved to the wrong realm. Nice hair, douchebag. Suck it. You're hurt. This looks like a job for Paladin Butter. This is this will teach you about his healing touch. I better wait a turn before I do any more healing. But you can still, yeah, you can use his uh, the healing touch is known as a quick attack, quick action. So we can examine. We're bleeding for causes damage at the end of turn, stacks up to five times. Make sure you always carry a few potions. Just don't get grounded for raiding your pocket through pantry like I do. Now he's a healer. So it's important to get him out of the way first. Uh, 
There we go. Um, we use healing touch. And then... So my order of which enemies to defeat first. Always go the healers first, then the archers, and then the, and then the rest. In the butt. Now I'm going to be cutting out all non-essential battles, like... Any battle that does not further the plot of the story, I will skip. Like, I'm not... Like, I won't skip them, but I'll cut them... I'll cut them out. So we have two out of twelve uh, fast travel flags now. Sorry, but we can't be friends until you have more friends. Um, I do believe this might be a little too tough for us at the moment. So, but this is. This is import this will be important for later. I'm not gonna go there just yet. Yeah, we can't do that yet. Okay then. Messaging than I am at speaking. Here, this will just go a lot faster if I friend you. Sure is a lot of walking. Are you new? Hey, that means you don't know anything about me, huh? There's the druid crown. Okay, can't go there yet. Nothing in there. You looking for Craig? Well, he can't play. He's in detention. Something about flipping off the principal. We better get to the other guys first. Yep. Now, this is going to be one of the first battles I skip. All right. Well, unfortunately, Butters did pass out, but... Nope, nothing there either. This is, uh, I believe, Kevin Stoley's house. We 
Mimic Cube. While I would prefer to explore strange worlds with you, it is illogical to abandon the bridge until the captain returns. The captain is my mom. I, I can't go outside when she's at home. But the Federation has an urgent mission for you. A tricorder was left behind on the frozen planet of Hoth. Only it's not a tricorder, I it's my dad's iPad too. I need you to beam down to the Omicron sector and locate that device before it falls into Klingon hands. I think it fell out of my backpack near the church. Okay, buddy. Ah, yes, okay. Fair enough. I know that's for, we'll discuss that later. Okay then! One time I got the worst snuggie behind that building over there, it sucked. Alright. And that's them taken care of. All right, we can't do anything about that yet. Give me a reason. This is where Jimmy gave me that noogie one time. You know you can die from a titty twister? Oh, what sad times these are when the nation's youth run around in dungeon clothes playing the games of Satan. Young man, if you really want power, there's only one thing you must do. Find Jesus. Find him, and when you do, return to me. Right, so we're gonna go back to the church and go find Jesus. Hey, big nose, you should consider 
I don't even have a nose! Jerk! You found me. Tee hee hee. Next time finding me won't be so easy. Okay then. Next time finding him won't be easy. So let's go back to Ma the priest the Maxi. Dog. Despair, for many find Jesus only to lose him later, but the soul that does not abandon its search will surely be rewarded with his company. Remember that. Okay, we go back and try and find him one more time. And trust me, there is a reason to this. <laughs> now remember when I moved the lights and turned the light off? Uh, that's why. Tee -hee -hee -hee. Oh, well done, my son. I hope you didn't peek. Remember, I will always be at the side of those who have found me. You can call me once per day with this, but I can't help against bosses. They're scary. Come find me again for another. <laughs> All right. So once a day, we can get a rosary from Jesus to summon him. Not the only time we can do this, but I also want to go down here and there's a reason for this. Mate, we have this, this one. Now we're not gonna do, we're not doing the quest, we're gonna be doing a bunch of side quests first. So... Alright, welcome to Shitty Walk, take all the priests. Only thing we're serving today is a Mongolian beef. Mongolian beef, so good, oh I just love it. Oh, hello Mongolian! Shh, Mongolians are watching. They conquered me last week, act natural. Oh yeah, Mongolian beef! Mmm, so tasty, right? Wow! It's not tasty at all. It's gross. Don't eat it. You eat a Mongolian beef, you shit your pants for five days. All right, Mongolian! Please, you gotta help me out. The Mongolians all live like rats in the tower of a piece next door. I'll keep the adults occupied here. You go top a tower and beat up all their kids. Beat up all the Mongolian kids. The Mongolian think this neighborhood not a safe place. They move away. Go, go. Beat up the little Mongolian kids. Oh, hello, Mongolian. Mongolian beef smell like a Rhino Richie's asshole. I really don't want to know what that smells like. Thank you. Excuse me. Hey, no fighting in here! We're gonna do the Tower of Peace in a bit. We're gonna go do another side quest first, which is a little easier. Let's go, bitch! You and me! Who? What? Oh, hey, I guess I hit it a little hard at the bar this morning. Thanks for waking me up, kid. You on Facebook? All right. Uh. No, we don't. That's Cartman's quest, and screw Cartman, man. Seriously. Well, well, you supposed to be some kind of knight of the round table? Welcome to ye old Skeeter's Tavern. Tell you what, good sir knight, I got rats in the basement. Big ones. 
That's why I got stuck with Her Majesty's goddamn health code violation. You think you're a real dungeon dweller? Then go clear out them rats out of my basement. Well, what are you waiting for? Make fucking haste. Yes, sir. But we'll do that in the next video because I went a little too long. So, until next time, farewell my friends and I will see you soon.